This is an All Sports Station production. Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the Queen City of Cincinnati and Paul Brown Stadium right on the banks of the Ohio River. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway from Cincinnati. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. Wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section, where the columnists write, possible air raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave away the game plan? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, though. That'll help them win. Let them know, let them know. Let them know, let them know. Snap. Yeah. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards that time, and it's Cincinnati first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He's got a man, and that's Alex Erickson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he's going to take this across midfield Shut into Jacksonville territory. Yeah. Tackle that time by Ronnie Harrison. Here now the offense for the Bengals. Out wide they have A.J. Green who can run every route you want on the route tree and take the top off of defense with his speed and has the length to go over the top of people to catch the ball. But maybe the most impressive thing about him the only wide receiver ever go, to be go. a pro bowler in his 70, first seven years 80. in the NFL. Here's a second and seven. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. 53, Mike, Mike. Watch the out, watch the out. Ready, ready. Back to throw now on first down. He completes it to Boyd. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. 
And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Ready, break. 44, Mike, Mike, 44. Get ready, get ready, get ready. On the draw, here's Bernard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. It's a jet sweep. They get it to Green. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. They'll give it to Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. So that drive goes eight plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. This is Leonard Fournette. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. 18, Gator. Hey. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. 
Uh, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Minshew, first and 10. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A first carry now for Thompson, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. What happened there? Was that just a missed assignment on the O-line? It certainly felt like it, but also the speed of the play. When you're talking about defensive end, they want to be ahead of the clock, don't they? They want to be upfield, making plays on every snap. How about his agility there to run that one down? From the gun, Minshew to throw. He's got it complete to Thompson. Nine yards on the play and a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On the set. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. Fire. On first down. It's Thompson, and oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Set, ready? 90, Wolf. Let's go, you tighten up. Let's go, you tighten up. Shoot. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. D.D. Westbrook. There to make the grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and we are tied at seven. So that drives seven plays in length, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. 
when you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Ready, ready! AT Gator! Pick me up! Here we go! Ready, ready! Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Second and one. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that throw would turn him into a veteran quicker, but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now a carry for Bernard. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. And partner, in a lot of short yardage situations, you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps, what we call mugging the line of scrimmage to make sure they take away all spaces, all creases. That one worked really well for them. They only needed a yard, instead went backwards. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep for the Jags, D.D. Westbrook. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Set. 50, play. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And the offensive unit now for the Jaguars. Yeah, I feel a little bad here because we missed out talking about these guys on the opening drive because they were in the end zone before we had a chance to even say anything. But let's keep an eye on these wideouts. QB already has one touchdown pass. You know he's looking for a few more before this one's over. Here we go, here we go. Those wideouts will get plenty of opportunities to try and score again. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Got it. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Off play action, it's Minshew. The open man is Shark, it's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A gain of 22. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Now Minshew on first and ten. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Ready, ready. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. On second and ten, it's Minshew. Got his man, it's Eifert. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Minshew. And his throw is going to be incomplete. D.D. Westbrook, his intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Geno Atkins breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Carl Lawson providing a little deja vu, back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down, you bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man, Erickson, that's complete. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll set up a throw. He gets this one to Boyd. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. These two teams all tied after one. Mixon with a first down carry. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. 
A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. On second down now, Bernard. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Jacksonville. He fights through. A big kick that time. 52 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They begin with a run by Mixon. A nice little juke. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Set, 
safety, Pittsburgh. They're going to need some therapy after this. Back. Back to Mixon on first down. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back-to-back go, go. back good plays have them on the move on first down. Switch out, switch out. Two. They'll drop the throw. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Second and 13. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. play fake he'll look to throw and a throw there gonna be incomplete problems on third down so far in this first half relatively small sample size but they're now 0 for 3 and the average in the league somewhere around 40 percent on third down for offenses so what's the answer to this either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place get your big chunks of yards on first and second down Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. Bullock's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the time, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Look at DJ Chark as he and the rest of the offense head back out. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Seventy, Indy. Cut it left. Cut it left. They'll run on first down. Thompson trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job and is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Geno Atkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 16. Here's Minshew. Open man is Westbrook complete. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip this. across the 35. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. This quarterback now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. On first down, it's Thompson, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Second down. It's Thompson. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. Minshew throwing on third down. And to connect incomplete now give them credit they took their shot but it's going to bring up fourth down not much going on this drive looks like they're going to have to punt it away cd and right now i know a lot of their fans are screaming for the oc to change things up get away from what he's been calling sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called here's logan cook now as he's on to punt for jacksonville He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check up, go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete. Bernard. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Seven, this quarterback six, now, four. 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Now Joe Mixon. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Ready, ready. Eight, three. Four. Two, second and five. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Back to throw. He's got his man, Boyd. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. They'll set up to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. 
Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 22. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10, down at the 33. He'll look to throw. Open man is Uzama. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. This quarterback now, 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Now Bullock to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? Low man wins, we talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. Well, guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. Because they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. They begin with a run by Fournette. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here we go, here we go. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. A pass complete here to Conley, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. First down now, but that clock rolling. 57's the mic. Watch 57. Minshew, first and 10. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. Looking to throw again on second down. Minshew complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 28. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. on first and 10. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So there. now they'll Ten come up on ball. second and 10 once again from the 28. On second and 10, it's Minshew to Thompson on the screen. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Hey, hey, watch this, watch this. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. Yeah, he's got his tight end, Oliver. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Down. This quarterback 70, now 80. 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. He's got Thompson here, complete. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here's a four receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Again, Minshew looking to throw. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. It'll be Minshew again. He's got it complete to Thompson. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. You want no problem. You want no problem to me. at the two now. Here's second and goal. Now Minshew. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. 
Tyler Eifert in the final seconds of the first half as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. That is a near-perfect end-of-half drive right there. And we've seen that many times from the best in the league. But do you really expect to see it done that well by a rookie? And how about the timing? Finishing it almost near the zeros, as you said, right at the end of the half. Great momentum to carry into the locker room. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Ready, ready. 60 or. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Cut. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Ready, ready. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, you second and 10. You ain't got nothing. Go. Minshew sets to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return will stop right around the 25. 
The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's complete. It's green here. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. On the ready. 53 smart. Check. 53 smart. Right. Okay, double up, double up, double up, double up. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Here's the second and seven. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Back to throw here. Gets it to his running back, Bernard. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Bullock will put this one through. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through.
After the field goal, now it's Bullock to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. The dump off gets him only one and now you're looking at a third down. Let's go now. 50 plant. Minshew throwing on third down. Open man is Westbrook complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Minshew. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Leonard Fournette. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Now he's going to go up top. Oh, it's caught inside the 25. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helm and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Fournette. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. again with Fournette and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage it'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down 
count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive and normally you think that wears down a defense in this case looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit they allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss they're trying to keep the drive going this will be play number eight it's third and two They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Looking to throw it. Minshew got his man. It's Eifert. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Here's Minshew. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Chris Conley there to make the grab. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive, interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it, solid, because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that will put them on top here in the third. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. now after the touchdown he'll kick this one away this will be taken in at the one and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line the Bengals getting set to go and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Come on, set, eight, read. Check, 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 check. <laughs> on play action, they'll throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Boom! Josh Allen, credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Bernard. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. 
And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Taken down. Miles Jack with a sack. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's Kevin Huber now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. A solid first half for him, and so far a good start to the second half. And I'm going to try not to go overboard with praise here, but I can't help it. He is playing so well, really accurate with the ball, finding guys open downfield, and finding the end zone three times. That'll help, that, that'll help offset the one interception. Absolutely. Just that, just that one pick with the three touchdowns so far. On first down, it's Thompson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Here we go. 30 base. Coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. From the 45 on second down, Minshew. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Credit the sack to the safety, Jesse Bates. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. this one pretty simple that was a rookie mistake made by the rookie quarterback trying to force a pass without really using proper mechanics here's logan cook now as he's on to punt for jacksonville <laughs> and this is going to hit the goal line and That's continue on into the end zone for a touchback now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Down, 50, plant, 44. Hey, pick your game up. Yeah. They'll start on the ground here with Bernard. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah. DJ Hayden, the corner, in on the tackle. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Nixon. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Let's go. 
Indy, Indy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. They'll set up the throw. And able to find Green. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A draw play, Bernard. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it here with Brewer. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Every now and then I scratch my head when I see the draw play called, especially after a great run the previous play. Keep attacking. Sometimes the draw play develops slowly and that allows the defense to react. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Second and 11. On the screen, Bernard. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. They'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. So now Randy Bullock with an important field goal try here. This for a fourth quarter lead. And this kick is not gonna get there. It's short and no good. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you gotta worry about, but I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this, you have to drive it a little bit lower in order yeah. to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it, that's who you're looking for. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. On the run, it's Fournette. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. The Jaguars on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. They're up against a third and one situation. Looking to throw. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away. And incomplete coverage there by Von Bell. Certainly so looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Logan Cook now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. They only get four, but the fake punt works and gets him a first down. So they snap it straight to the up man. What's his responsibility? Normally, obviously, just to protect, but he's got to be a guy that can be pretty agile too, right? Yeah, without a doubt, because you're talking about a guy, even in protection, he may have to slide up and down the line of scrimmage to pick up someone who comes through trying to block a punt. So you know he's got that ability to move. But oftentimes, it's a user, a running back, a fullback, someone who's used to having the ball in their hands, and he's able to pick up the first down. That's one where you probably give the ball carrier a bit of a mulligan, right? <laughs> yeah. where, I mean, where was he going to go there? Yeah, you could almost see his brain turning over from our perspective. Just put your foot in the ground and go, except there was no place to put his foot in the ground, and there was no place to go. No room to roam. If nothing else, they've already hey, taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Second and 13. The open man is Westbrook. The Bengals with two extra DBs, a nickel look on third. Blanketing the passing lanes. Now back to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. It's Thompson, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew, and Eifert has it. And he's able to pick up the first down this. before he's tackled right at the 10. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker.
So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Minshew on first and ten. That's complete right around the eight. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And this Fournette territory here, and he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. Now Minshew, blitz coming, and down he goes. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? He'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down again. Carlos Dunlap. He's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. So on now is the kicker, Josh Lambeau. The kick by Lambeau is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. Now after the main field goal, back out Lambeau to kick this one off. This fielded at the two. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. Start this drive in the air. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. <laughs> Back to throw now on first down. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Sacked by Yannick Ngakwe, the former Maryland Terp. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Now they're in some Seven hot water eight, now. Eight. After that sack, Tyler, it's second Tyler. and 21. Go. They'll look to throw here. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. 
Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. Yeah, you mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Quick pass to the outside caught by Conley. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are on the field? Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. This is Fournette. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Again, it's Fournette. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Minshew sets to throw. The catch made by James O'Shaughnessy, the tight end. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. First down carry. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football. Maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll run with Fournette. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, 
That looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.